here in Quran, one method of uh, altering the whole procedure of the congregational salah has been suggested as we've uh, gone through the translation. But in Hadith, Prophet Sallallahu has mentioned and explained like almost about four different methods. There is absolutely no doubt that Hadith and Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu extensively elaborates and help us all to learn and comprehend the verses and the message which has been conveyed and the commandments which have been conveyed by the Quran. Now the basic method we actually what we are the basic message and the important lesson which we are basically learning from this verse is the importance of salah. The importance of salah is that even in the condition, even in such a condition that even in the battlefield, when there is the risk of an impending attack, there is threat and fear from the enemy. Under such difficult conditions and under such a condition and state of fear, an imminent war or active war, neither the salah is omitted, nor is the time altered, and nor is the congregational prayer omitted and skipped. So from here, we can clearly relate the importance of these three things in the life of a believer. In all conditions, wherever, whenever, whatever he is in, there is no skipping of salah, there is no omitting of congregational prayers, and there is no shifting of the time of salah. Little do people realize, you know, how with all the health and all the facilities and amenities, with the best of comforts and luxuries, just sitting, sitting free in front of our LED screens, following some drama serials, or just watching a match, does the time of Salah pass away? Congregational Salah are just not offered today. With the most comfortable of air-conditioned cars and air-conditioned mosques, with carpets and with underlays under the carpets, with all the comforts and luxuries, amenities and facilities available for Salah in the mosque. There is just no concept of congregational Salah in the Ummah of today.